Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things crypto related, unknown, and paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and welcome back to another Mythical Menagerie. Before we get started, I would like to say sorry for not uploading on Wednesday. Work has been absolute kind of stressful on me, uh, and I just really haven't gotten around to uploading, so I apologize. But today on Mythical Menagerie, we're going to be talking about one of the most iconic um, Greek mythological creatures of all time, being the centaur. Yeah, um, I feel like it would be a crime if I did not use this picture of the centaur. So, with that being said, let's begin. So, in Greek mythology, the centaurs are a creature that, ha that has the upper half of a human and the lower half of a horse. And they were believed to be born of King um, Aixen of Lapithus and Nephel, who was a cloud nymph. And their offspring became half horse, half human, um, which is honestly kind of odd. But it all but it does say that. Um, Nephel, um, made a cloud into the likeness of Hera to trick the king into revealing, um, his lust for Hera to Zeus. And then, um, Aixen, he seduced Nephel from that relationship and the centaurs were created. And, which is weird, I don't, I know Hera is, Hera is kind of vengeful, but I don't know, um, and I don't think Hera even got pissed in this, but I don't know how, um... A cloud nymph and a king can make half horse, half man. But, regardless, it's an interesting story. Um, centaurs are very prominent in old medieval beast series as well, showing up in all over, especially like with Pliny the Elder and everything, who documented a lot of other Greek mythological creatures. Uh, the most famous centaur being Chiron. Chiron, he helped many people, many Greek heroes, along their travels and journeys, uh, most famous for helping Achilles. He was very well respected in the centaur hierarchy, and he was respected by the gods as well. Now, in, now in other myths, Harry, like in Harry Potter, um, the centaurs were seen as half-bloods, um, half-human, half-horse. And um, if you guys have seen Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Dolores Umbridge insulted them. Um, they have a very, like, disdain for wizards, um, especially if you are racist towards them, which I feel like is the case with, you know, honestly anything. Um, if you're racist to it and rude to it, it's going to be rude back. So be nice, guys. Be nice, guys. But um, Dolores called them half-breeds, and they got angry at her and drunk her off into the woods. Eventually Dumbledore saved her though, which honestly we all kind of wish that didn't happen, that Dumbledore didn't save her. But I think centaurs are pretty iconic. Now also, this has always really got me wondering for the longest time, would a centaur's lungs and heart be in its human half or in its horse half? Or does it have one of each, like in each part of its body? Uh, I really don't know how centaur anatomy works, but the centaurs, they were warriors. They all, they were all, they were mostly always depicted shooting with bows and arrows as their main weapon. Sometimes they've been seen with swords, but most iconically they are associated with bows and arrows. And they were a really good tribe, honestly. They, some of them were kind of, they didn't really like humans. The other ones were willing to help humans, especially the Greek heroes. Um... Centaurs are just very, very iconic creatures. We also see them in the likes of C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. And honestly, I even got to mention it. I played this game as a kid. It was my favorite thing at the time, Wizard 101. There was a life spell called Centaur, where the centaur jumps out of the ground and shoots an arrow and deals damage to the player. And I thought that was the coolest spell of all time when I was a kid, and that made me choose life school for my Wizard 101 character. Um, but um, centaurs... I. They're also associated with Sagittarius as well. The constellation Sagittarius is, in fact, a centaur, which is really, really neat. So, I really don't know what else to talk about the centaurs, and I'm sorry this video kind of seemed like all over the place today. Uh, 
week has been stressful. I have been kind of out of it, and I just wanted to get some content uploaded for you guys. So, if you guys like this video, be sure that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I heard if you dislike this video, the centaurs will bust down your door and um, threaten you with um, arrows. If you don't want to be threatened with arrows by the centaurs, the only way to ward them off is to hit that like button. Also, guys, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button and become a member of the Crypto Crew today. It, every subscription means a, really means a lot to me and keeps the family kind of growing. And I really do, really do like seeing that happen and just kind of bringing people who love mythology and cryptids and all that all together in one. And I think that's really, really cool. So, guys, I really appreciate it if you do that. Also, check out all my links to my social media in the description below. If you guys like the music playing in the background, copyright free fantasy music, going to put the link to that in the description as well. With that being said, guys, tomorrow I'll be back with a CryptoCast footage review. I don't know exactly what I'm going to pick, what I'm going to pick yet, but we're going to review something, and it's going to be a good time. So I thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and you've been watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.